Welcome back guys, Jobby here doing a live commentary on Defender Titans and the viability in Competitive Destiny or well, the closest thing to Competitive Destiny that there is which is Skirmish 3v3 and somewhat Elimination. So, let's talk. So, in the most recent update, Defender Titans got a buff somewhat by getting the ability to proc their force barrier on shotgun kills with the no backup plans exotic equipped it. Now this is fantastic because shotguns are really strong right now, like all shotguns are ridiculous. And this, you know, gives you an overshield that can continuously recharge and I think it's, I want to say it's about an extra... 75% health bar, like it's kind of like three chords and health bar. I may be wrong on that complete math, but that's what I found in normal Crucible. And uh, just running around, skating around uh, with a chaperone was actually really fun. Um, just being able to just proc that force barrier allowed you to get out of situations where you'd be in a 2v1 or you'd be able to win the 2v1 that you normally wouldn't be able to win with an extra health bar. And having force barrier also allows your health to regen if it was low. And it's also actually pretty viable. Yeah, the build I was running was max intellect strength build because grenades suck on the defender titan. And I was running uh, just a Hawk Saw for the primary. And the shotgun I was maining though was the Chaperon. I prefer it over an Invective because it has better range and has the ability to one-shot people. Invective, you have to be pretty close to one-shot people or you're just going to have to start spamming the trigger, which is less efficient on ammo. Now, I know you get four bullets every now and again, but with the Chaperon, with a shotgun perk and field skate, you pick up seven per bullets sorry, per box which is more than enough that you need, because if you can you know, control special ammo for a little bit, you'll have your max ammo. And it's a bit more efficient than Invective. And you can make it ridiculously lethal by just getting a headshot kill normally. And then, yeah, you'll proc the uh, Roadborne perk and everything will be fine and dandy. So, what does this mean for its viability? Well, we're going to have a quick talk about that, actually. So, let's talk about it. 6v6, this class is actually really fun. You're able to make a lot of use out of the proccing of the force barrier just by skating around on maps, small maps. Probably not the map that I'm playing right now. Widow's Court is a bit more difficult. But just being able to just, you know, just dominate with it, it's pretty fun. And Water Dawn just gives everyone supers. And, you know, it's just a really good support class. But... You know, this build only feels viable in 6v6, and 3v3 support classes are just not that useful. And, you know, in Trials, being a support player is pretty bad, because you want to be able to snipe people. And, I mean, sniping people at distance and getting them off the revives and one-shotting people off revives at a safe distance is really crucial in Trials. And running this build just does not get you there. It kind of sucks. It... Puts you in a bad position to try and get kills to proc, and I mean, I know you shouldn't be running around the whole time with the shotgun, but to make full use of this build, you should be running around with your shotgun about 70% of the time. Shotgunning in this class should not be a defensive thing, because you want to, that's the whole point. Like, if you were just going to use shotguns as a defensive thing, you might as well just go play another subclass. So, in Trials, it kind of sucks. The Water Dawn doesn't really do anything, and Suppressor Grenades... They're good, but they're, you're not going to get too much utility out of them in Trials of Osiris, to be perfectly honest. And that kind of sucks. In 3v3 Skirmish, eh, it's similar in the lines towards Trials. I mean, you can't one-shot it revives at a distance with a shotgun, um, depending on what shotgun. But majority of shotguns, the exotic ones, especially the Chaperon, I'm using the Chaperon as a big example here, you have to put yourself up and close and personal. And that's just not safe. And in skirmish and small team, smaller team battles, you're going to be using your primary a lot more. You're gonna not be able to put yourself in those positions. And now, and also in skirmish, there's not as many supers to counter with your grenades. So that makes your grenades kind of useless because they're not a very strong grenade. They don't have anything to go from except for the knocking people out of the supers. And supers in three v three don't come around all the time. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, the overall the class is pretty damn fun. I can't recommend it for the small team battles. I don't think it's competitive enough. Just everything about the class still has its major issues. It doesn't have a good PvP super. The only thing it's good for is making orbs. And you're restricted to using a shotgun. 
which kind of sucks because in skirmish you can't afford to run around and same as trials you can't afford to be running around with a shotgun trying to get these kills you have to be kind of keeping your distance and just taking snipes now i know you could probably do it on some maps sure but you know it even then like on those smaller maps good players will punish you for pushing and, like I said before, if you're going to be using no backup plans, you're going to be wanting to be aggressive with that shotgun because you want to be able to proc it all the time instead of not proccing it at all. So, overall, this is a fantastic pub stomping class if you, that is your thing, which some people's it is. You know, just being able to chill out and run around the shotgun was really fun. But you definitely need to learn how to Titan skate, otherwise you're just going to be finding yourself falling short. Uh, there's, there's plenty of Titan scanning tutorials on the internet. I'm actually not the best Titan skater myself. I don't actually make my Titan, so that's a, that's probably the reason why. But yeah, definitely learn how to skate and, you know, use the chaperone and you'll have a lot of fun. The class is really good for pub something. Just in competitive plays, not so much. It It is way too much risk and so little reward. So, yeah, that that's pretty much sums it up. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Check out the team's channel. It's going to be in the description down below, and I'll put their Twitter down below. Make sure you have a look at those guys, and if you enjoy Call of Duty and CSGO, there's going to be a lot of Call of Duty content coming out from us in the next couple of weeks, uh, once Black Ops 3 drops and we get a bit of time with it. So yeah, I hope you all stay excited for that, because this is SKF Drop S signing out. Peace.